So here we have the first example that I have seen of what is called mud pudding butterflies. Now most of the butterflies congregating here are probably males and they land here because um, they want to drink salts and minerals and the males of butterflies need basically they need minerals for their sperm production and the females do not have this problem so uh, what's happening here in the sand <laughs> someone probably took a piss here okay no it sounds crude but um, they're really attracted to the salts and stuff like that now down here we also have a stream and uh, I'm going to walk down the stream and we're probably also going to see a lot of mud puddling there because there's also natural uh, in the soil there are natural minerals that they are really attracted to and uh, I think it's the common crow a uh, very common species here plus some uh, <coughs> Danaids oh Jay just were scared away by uh, someone driving away What the fuck? This is not okay. Dude, this is not made for people like me. Oh god damn it. Alright, so I'm. Oh fuck. Cambodia. Still in the national park, Pongkulen. Okay. Show me the butterflies. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's really nice. Yeah, give me the net. You go. Okay. You don't want to catch them? I mean, if yeah, but if you have one swipe, you have like 20 of them. Well, you go photograph first, we'll swipe them a bit. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm too big. Oh, wow, look at that. That's really nice. That's great. So most of these are common crow, right? It's incredible. Go have a look. Might be a bit more up here. You're gonna take some? Get at it. I'll just let. We'll go up here. And they'll, oh, they'll come there back you go. Oh, there you go. Wow. In the Netherlands, you rarely see this. Yeah, really? Yeah. It's okay. I can take a beating. Yeah, me too. That's the only thing I worry about. Hey, Piri day. That's a few swallow tails too. Oh look, swallowtails! Which ones are they? You gonna catch them? Yeah, but they're gone now. Okay. So there we are. And Ponkulem National Park in Cambodia. Everything's a bit dusty here because the soil is very loose and there's a road here. 
So the cars are blowing all the soil particles here into the plants. Which turn out to be quite reddish because of all the dust. In the rainy season all of this turns into a big mud pool. But uh, as we move further away from the road, as you can see, the dusty nuts are starting to diminish. And here up front are Ben and uh, Pam, my two co-workers, who are leading the way. We do have to be careful here because there's a small chance of landmines. This used to be an outpost of the Khmer Rouge. But uh, because this place is very touristic, most of the landmines have been cleared away. Though you never know, right? Let's see where all of this stuff leads. I'm quite excited. We may see some good insects today. This is a national park, so it's not the barren landscape I was wandering in yesterday. And uh, I'm glad to have all of you viewers with me in moments like this. Yo, watch the gap. Watch the gap? What's this? What the hell is this? How deep is it? Okay. That's weird. Oh wow. What? So this is where I'm going to moth trap? Okay. You heard it here first, folks. This is where I'm going to moth trap. Okay. Wow. It really looks great, though. My God. I think I will have to mind the gap at night. You know? It's probably hard to see the edge when it's dark. It is a good sign. So, yeah, I would suggest. Incredible. You're like making a lot of pictures uh, of me, Ben. I know I'm pretty. You know, you're lucky that I don't have a fear of heights. Because I'm, I know a few people that would pretty sure shit themselves if they walked here. <laughs> Yeah. So up on that corner would be good. Okay. There? Yeah. So I, I think pretty yeah. much anywhere here would be good. I would suggest I would come here for two nights. Yeah. If, if the first night proves good, Hey butterfly. I would come back and do it twice. And maybe you do it one night there on that edge. This edge? That edge, because it looks much more that way. Okay. And then your other one anywhere along here. Okay. Covering that okay it's an easy location to get to yeah we'll just try all the plateaus this is a thick is it no no it's not thick it's cold let's um that's all three hmm? oh. moving away Is it Ficus? No, what? Tameng? Food plant for uh, yellow moth. Okay. For a day flying moth. Wow. 
so here we see another example of this great mud puddling behavior. Um, as for what species they are, I have no clue. I know it's bad because I'm the entomologist here, but um, to be honest, first of all I'm more about moths than butterflies, so I don't know uh, the common and local butterfly species. Second of all, there's such a huge biodiversity here, I still need to study everything here on local scale. But it's absolutely beautiful to see this and I'm happy all of you are here. So I'm gonna scare them away now, just for dramatic video effect, or see how close I can get. They don't seem to be very frightened. Probably more concerned with getting those salts. Oh, actually, this is great. You know, I could just sit here and watch for hours. This place is like a paradise. Incredible. So this is one of the most common butterflies in Pongkulen. Pongkulen. Hope I pronounced it right. It's somehow iridescent and um, one of the Danaide butterflies. It's called the common crow. And I'm just capturing this one for educational purposes. I will let it go. And here you will see many of its cousins. Um, I'm here to research butterflies and moths. It's a natural park. So uh, it's good to see them here. Um, all the specimens here in this video will be males. Why you ask? Well, the males they come here to mud puddle and this is basically a behavior they have um, where they visit ponds and streams full of minerals and salts because the males they need minerals to produce sperm. So uh, <coughs> as you can see here it's chock full of them along the river. Some uh, periods too. Been working here with uh, a butterfly net, trying to catch some species. I had some nice uh, ones too, like the common rose, Pachliopta aristologia, I believe. So, uh, all in all, it's a good day. Don't I have a good job? Thanks for watching. So a few moments ago I caught this highly reticent species of butterfly, it's uh, Lika Enidae, one of the blues. And uh, its wings were already torn up so it's probably an old specimen, it has lived for quite a while and hopefully reproduced. I'm handling it a bit roughly, but uh, it's okay. After I release it, it will be fine. And I'm just showing it for educational purposes. Um, I'm here in Cambodia, studying butterflies and moths. And it's a really nice catch. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm gonna let it go. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Thank you. So what's it called? Prohok. Prohok. <laughs> Special, huh? Yeah. A little bit. 
Um, Ponkulen. Today you still got this? Yeah, yeah, many, many. Yeah? Are you ready? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh. 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 This is one day of catching, okay? <laughs> ah. Lazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Ah, there they go. There it is. Hi everyone, and thanks for watching. My name is Bart Coppens, a traveling entomologist from the Netherlands. Working with moths used to be my hobby, but thanks to my exposure on YouTube and social media, it became my job. Thank you for following my travels in Laos and Cambodia, which is part of the video series that you're watching now. This is the outro video, so skip ahead to the next episode if you like. I would just like to remind all of you to like and subscribe, and consider joining my crowdfunding platform. Because as, as an independent entomologist, crowdfunding enables me to do independent work on insects and improve my YouTube channel. So if you are willing and able, please consider joining. And otherwise I would like to say thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insects and moths. Bye.